Thank you for choosing Lenco Pro Control Assist. For comfort and control, nothing comes close. The Pro Control Assist system consists of three main components. At the stern of the vessel are the trim tabs, fitted with best-in-class SD Pro Smart Actuators. At the core of the system on the helm is the Pro Control Assist keypad, allowing for manual operation of the system with whole shot assist and favorite tab position recall, as well as commissioning and diagnostic functionality. Finally, a third party GPS source over NMEA 2000, such as a chart plotter set to global sourcing is required for full assist functionality. This is not provided with the Pro Control Assist system. The Pro Control Assist keypad has three different CAN connectors on the rear. The short connection is for the Lenco 2K network. This is a private connection between the keypad and actuators. Those familiar with NMEA 2000 styled networking components will recognize many commonalities between the Lenco 2K and NMEA 2000 networks. However, the two networks should never be interconnected. Aside from the actuators, T's, terminators, power drop, and the keypad's Lenco 2K connection only, Nothing else should be connected to the Lenco 2K network. The next connector at the rear of the keypad is for connection to CAN-P and CAN-H on Mercury SmartCraft networks. This will allow for additional features to be unlocked when combined with Mercury Propulsion. If the vessel is not equipped with Mercury Propulsion, you will use the supplied purple wire pigtail to connect from this port on the keypad to the ignition. This will serve as a wake wire to place the system in and out of standby mode when powering the key switch on and off. Regardless of propulsion manufacturer, you will still receive all the core best-in-class elements of Pro Control Assist. Finally, the longest cable on the keypad is an NMEA 2000 connection. This cable should be connected using an additional Micro-C drop cable and Micro-C T connector into the vessel's global NMEA 2000 backbone. A globally sourced GPS, such as a chart plotter, must be present on the network for full assist functionality. No other cables on the Pro Control Assist keypad should be connected into the vessel's global NMEA 2000 backbone. At the stern of the vessel, the SD Pro actuators are connected into the Lenco 2K network using the supplied Micro C components. It is important for system functionality that the SD Pro actuators are not connected to the vessel's global NMEA 2000 network. Each SD Pro actuator connects into the Lenco 2K CAN network using Micro C T connectors and finishing with a terminating resistor. Drop cables will connect the actuators to the T connectors. Coming directly off each actuator are two power leads which should be fitted with 20 amp circuit protection and five CAN leads. All wires will connect using two supplied Deutsch connectors which must be firmly seated with the wire leads installed in the correct orientation. Upon initial power-up, the Pro Control Assist keypad will enter the first of its commissioning menus. This menu can be entered or re-entered at any time by pressing and holding all four lower up and down buttons for three seconds. While the system is in the commissioning menu, the green LEDs next to the Favorite 1 and Favorite 2 buttons will be alternately flashing. This menu has four sub-menus as indicated by the left-hand LEDs on the keypad dial face. The sub-menus are Data Verification, Keypad Locating, Actuator Commissioning, and Actuator Position Assignment. In the Data Verification menu, indicated by the first left-hand LED flashing, the Pro Control Assist system will look for four sets of data as indicated by illuminated LEDs on the right-hand side of the dial face. If a particular piece of data is not detected by the system, 
The corresponding LED will not be illuminated when in the data verification menu. From the top down, the first LED indicates speed over ground data is present. This is required for assisted whole shot functionality and is received from a globally sourced GPS, such as a chart plotter, over the vessel's global NMEA 2000 network. The second LED indicates shift position data and the third LED indicates engine RPM data from the vessel's propulsion source are available. These data inputs enhance system operations operation but are not required for assist functionality. The fourth LED is for Mercury SmartCraft digital throttle and shift applications only and indicates that throttle lever demand data is present. This feature enhances system performance but is not required for operation. Turn the dial counterclockwise and release. The second left hand LED will flash to indicate the system is locating keypads. The right-hand LEDs correspond to the number of keypads installed in the Pro Control Assist system. The maximum number of allowable keypads is three, one base station and up to two remote Flybridge keypads. Remote keypads are connected over the vessel's global NMEA 2000 network and not the Lenco 2K network. Turn the dial counterclockwise again and release. The third left-hand LED will flash to indicate the system is commissioning the actuators. The right-hand LEDs correspond to the number of actuators installed in the Pro Control Assist system. The maximum number of allowable actuators is four, up to two port and two starboard. Using the pitch up and down buttons in the center of the dial face, select the correct number of actuators installed in the system. Next, long press the dim button to auto-locate the actuators. Actuators are only to be connected over the Lenco 2K network, not the vessel's global NMEA 2000 network. Turn the dial counterclockwise again and release. The fourth left-hand LED will flash to indicate the system is assigning a position, port or starboard, to the actuators. Ensure both trim tabs are clear from obstructions and able to move freely. Press the dim button on the keypad and one tab will begin pulsating on the stern of the vessel. At the same time, the right-hand LEDs will scroll up and down to indicate tab movement is occurring. Audibly or visually confirm that the starboard tab, and only the starboard tab, is pulsating. If the port tab is pulsating, press the All Up button on the keypad dial face once. The keypad will flash. Press the Dim button and now the starboard tab should begin pulsating. Once the starboard tab is pulsating, the system now knows the correct location of the port and starboard trim tabs. To exit the setup menu, press and hold all four lower up and down buttons for one second. Pro Control Assist has a number of different settings to customize the ride of the vessel and the responsiveness or authority of the system. These settings are accessed in the calibration menu. To enter the calibration menu, press the Favorite 1, Favorite 2, and Dim buttons simultaneously and hold them for 3 seconds. On the first power-up after installation, the system will automatically enter this menu upon exiting the configuration menu. The Favorite 1 and 2 green LEDs will begin to slow flash in sync to indicate the keypad is in calibration mode. The Pro Control Assist calibration menu has four submenus where users can change performance parameters of the system. These submenus correspond to the left-hand LEDs on the dial face. They are actuator extension speed, pull shot activation speed, pull shot intensity, and on-plane transition speed. When the first LED in the calibration menu is flashing, the actuator rate of travel can be adjusted. The options for actuator rate of travel are 1 through 5 as indicated by the LEDs on the right hand side of the dial face. In setting 1, the system will operate at the slowest possible rate, and in setting 5, the system will operate at the fastest possible rate. Use the all up and all down buttons on the center of the dial face to adjust the speed settings 1 through 5. Turn the dial counterclockwise and release. The second left-hand LED will begin flashing, indicating that the whole shot activation speed can be adjusted. This is the speed over ground at which the system will deploy the trim tabs to enter whole shot mode when the vessel is attempting to get on plane. There are nine speed options as indicated by the LED indicators on the right-hand side of the dial face. In order, each LED corresponds to a one mile per hour increment beginning at three miles per hour at a minimum and ending at 11 miles per hour at a maximum. 
The speed over ground at which the system deploys the tabs for hull shot can be adjusted by using the all up and all down buttons on the dial face. Turn the dial counterclockwise and release. The third left hand LED will begin flashing, indicating that the hull shot intensity can be adjusted. This is the percentage to which the system will deploy the trim tabs to when entering hull shot mode as the vessel is attempting to get on plane. There are nine percentage options as indicated by the LED indicators on the right hand side of the dial face. In order, each LED corresponds to a greater percentage increment beginning at 0% tab deployment at a minimum and ending at 100% tab deployment at a maximum. The hull shot intensity can be adjusted by using the all up and all down buttons on the dial face. Turn the dial counterclockwise and release. The fourth left hand LED will begin flashing, indicating that the on plane transition speed can be adjusted. This is the speed at which the system will consider the vessel on plane, exit the hull shot sequence, and drive to a user selected favorite position. There are nine speed options as indicated by the LED indicators on the right hand side of the dial face. In order, each LED corresponds to a greater speed increment beginning at 8 miles per hour at a minimum and ending at 24 miles per hour at a maximum. The on-plane transition speed can be adjusted by using the all up and all down buttons on the dial face. To exit the calibration mode, press the dim, favorite 1 and favorite 2 buttons at the same time for 1 second. In this section, we'll talk about how to use the Pro Control Assist system out on the water. When properly installed, the Pro Control Assist system should wake when the vessel's ignition is turned on. The lights will flash on the keypad, and once both status lights illuminate constantly, the system is fully awake. The system should wake with a favorite selection engaged as indicated by a green LED on one of the two favorite buttons. If no LED is illuminated, meaning no favorite button is engaged, the system will not perform its whole shot assist function. To activate a favorite in this circumstance, press the desired favorite button. The two favorite buttons at the top of the keypad are programmable, and each allows for the storing and recall of one favorite position across both tabs. To program a favorite tab position, drive the tabs manually to a desired deployment. Press and hold one of the favorite buttons for three seconds. This button is now programmed to recall the stored tab position every time it is engaged with a short press. Favorites are saved into the keypad's memory, but can be reprogrammed at any time. Once you reach open water, advance the throttle forward to engage whole shot assist. At the program transition speed or program throttle position on Mercury DTS equipped vessels, the trim tabs will automatically deploy to aid in the whole shot and planing process. Once on plane, the tabs will retract and drive to the selected favorite position. From there, the vessel's operator may assume manual control of the trim tabs. The LED indicator lights on the dial face are bow centric and indicate tab deployment relative to each tab's impact on the vessel. Bow. The keypad has two different but integrated sets of tab controls. The lower up and down buttons are bow centric and control each individual tab. The instant roll control dial moves the tabs at the same rate of travel but in opposite directions. and the all up and down button at the center of the dial's face moves the tabs at the same rate of travel in the same direction. When throttling back and coming off plane, the tabs will automatically deploy at a predetermined transition speed to aid in reducing bow rise and improving visibility. After this point, as the vessel continues to slow down, the tabs will automatically retract fully. When engine shift information is available over the network, the tabs will also automatically retract in neutral and reverse. When correctly wired, the system will automatically retract and enter standby mode upon turning the vessel's key switch to off. 
It is important to wait until the system completes this sequence before powering down the vessel's battery switches, if doing so is part of the regular shutdown practices at the end of the trip. Pro Control Assist offers dimming control. Quick presses of the dim button on the keypad will cycle through the dimming settings and long presses will place the system into night mode or day mode. Pro Control Assist offers global dimming with compatible Simrad, Lowrance, and Mercury equipment. On global dimming compatible networks, any one piece of equipment can dim all other compatible devices on the helm to keep lighting levels in sync. As a smart tab system, Pro Control Assist is able to detect and display a number of faults should they occur for instances where outside forces impact the system's ability to properly operate. There are three types of faults in the system. Critical, as indicated by rapidly flashing LED indicators on the dial face. Non-critical, as indicated by slow flashing LED indicators on the dial face. And warning, as indicated by periodic flashes of LED indicators on the dial face. During critical faults, the system will be non-operational and will likely require service or advanced troubleshooting. During non-critical faults, the system will function in manual mode only. All faults will self-clear once the source of the fault has been resolved. Actuator faults will flash specific to the side of the actuator which is impacted.